Have you ever wondered what the life of Moses, one of the most influential figures in history, was like beyond the scriptures? Moses is a figure of monumental importance, not just in religious circles, but across the tapestry of human history. He was a prophet, a lawgiver, and a leader, roles that are pivotal in the annals of civilization. Yet, the enigma of Moses is that much of his life remains shrouded in a veil of mystery, tucked away beyond the familiar tales and parables of the scriptures. Consider for a moment the sheer magnitude of his influence. As a prophet, Moses was a conduit for divine messages, communicating divine intent to his people. As a lawgiver, he was a figure of authority, shaping society with rules and regulations, many of which have been foundational to legal systems for millennia. And as a leader, he guided his people through trials and tribulations, demonstrating resilience and courage in the face of adversity. Yet, despite his profound influence, there is so much about Moses that we simply don't know. The scriptures provide us with a narrative, yes, but they are just a single window into his life. There are so many more windows waiting to be opened, so many more stories waiting to be told. This video journey is an attempt to open those windows, to reveal the life of Moses in a way that goes beyond the scriptures. We will explore the myths, the legends, the historical accounts, and the archaeological discoveries that have attempted to illuminate the life of this remarkable figure. We will delve into the nuances of his character, the complexities of his actions, and the profound impact of his legacy. So, prepare yourself for a journey into the unknown, for a voyage into the life of a figure who has shaped the course of history. Prepare yourself for a deep dive into the mystery, the intrigue, and the enigma that is Moses. Join us as we delve into the intriguing life of Moses beyond the confines of the scriptures. Moses's early life is a tale of survival, adoption, and identity crisis. Born into the Hebrew community under the oppressive regime of the Pharaoh, his life hung by a thread from the get-go. The Pharaoh, fearing the burgeoning Hebrew population, had decreed that all newborn Hebrew boys be drowned in the Nile. But Moses's mother, in a desperate act of love and defiance, chose to hide him for three months. When she could no longer keep him concealed, she fashioned a basket out of bulrushes and set him adrift on the Nile, entrusting her son's life to the river's currents. In an ironic twist of fate, it was the Pharaoh's daughter who found the basket while bathing in the Nile, and moved by compassion, she decided to adopt the baby. And so Moses, a child of Hebrew slaves, was raised as a prince of Egypt. He grew up in the lap of luxury, surrounded by opulence, and educated in the wisdom of the Egyptians. But he was never allowed to forget his roots. His own mother was brought in to nurse him, ensuring that the threads connecting him to his Hebrew heritage remained unbroken. However, this dual identity led to an internal struggle. He was an Egyptian prince, yet he was also a Hebrew by birth. He belonged to the oppressors yet he was also one of the oppressed. This tension came to a head when he saw an Egyptian taskmaster beating a Hebrew slave. In a fit of rage, he killed the Egyptian, an act that forced him into hiding, setting the stage for the next chapter of his life. Despite his privileged upbringing, Moses never lost touch with his roots. His heart beat for his people, the Hebrews, and it was this connection that would eventually lead him to challenge the Pharaoh himself. These early years were crucial. They were not just about survival and identity crisis, but also about the awakening of a sense of justice and a calling to liberate his people. The seeds of his destiny were sown in these early years shaping the leader he would later become. The next stage of Moses' life was one of exile and discovery. After the incident where he killed an Egyptian, Moses found himself a fugitive. He fled from the comforts and privileges of the Egyptian palace, finding refuge in the land of Midian, far from the grandeur of Pharaoh's court. In Midian, he embraced a life completely different from the one he had known. From prince to shepherd, Moses led a humble existence, tending to the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law. In the solitude of the desert, Moses stumbled upon an extraordinary spectacle, a bush engulfed in flames yet not consumed. This was no ordinary fire but a divine manifestation. It was here at this burning bush that Moses had his first encounter with God, God spoke to him from within the flames revealing himself as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God disclosed to Moses the suffering of his people in Egypt and his plan to liberate them. Moses, though initially hesitant, was chosen to be the instrument of this deliverance. It was a daunting mission, one that would require courage, faith, and resilience. But God assured Moses that he would be with him every step of the way. Emboldened by this divine encounter, Moses made the decision to return to Egypt. 
He was no longer the fugitive, fleeing from Pharaoh's wrath. Instead, he was now a man on a mission, chosen by God to lead his people out of bondage. Moses's time in Midian, his encounter with God at the burning bush, and his decision to return to Egypt, marked a significant turning point in his life. He was transformed from a fugitive to a liberator, from a shepherd to a leader. This period of his life was transformative, preparing him for the monumental task that lay ahead. Moses returned to Egypt not as a prince but as a liberator. After a divine encounter at the burning bush Moses makes a triumphant return to Egypt. This time he is not the royal prince he once was but a man with a mission, a messenger of God, determined to liberate his people from the chains of slavery. The once pampered prince now stands as the voice of the oppressed, the champion of the Hebrews. Moses's confrontations with Pharaoh were nothing short of epic. They were a battle of wills, a test of faith, and a clash of powers. Moses, armed with nothing but his faith and his staff, stood defiantly against the might of Pharaoh. He demanded freedom for his people, with the courage of a lion and the resolve of a mountain. As Pharaoh's heart hardened, the land of Egypt was struck with ten devastating plagues, each one a testament to the power of the God Moses served. From the Nile turning into blood to the death of the firstborns, these plagues were not just punishments, they were signs, messages to Pharaoh and to all of Egypt, that the Hebrews were not slaves, but God's chosen people. But it was the Exodus that truly defined Moses as a liberator. Leading a multitude of Hebrews across the Red Sea, he forged a path of freedom through the waters. This journey was not just a physical escape from Egypt, but a spiritual journey towards a promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Moses, the liberator, was more than a leader. He was a beacon of hope, a symbol of defiance, a testament to the power of faith. He stood against an empire not for glory or power but for the freedom of his people. His story is a testament to the triumph of the human spirit over oppression, of faith over fear, and of justice over tyranny. The Exodus was a defining moment in Moses' life, cementing his legacy as a liberator. The final chapter of Moses' life was marked by law and leadership. Imagine standing atop a mountain, a sea of faces turned towards you, waiting for your words. Moses, at this moment, became more than a liberator. He ascended to the role of a lawgiver, a beacon of guidance for his people. His journey had led him to this point, from the prince of Egypt to the shepherd in Midian, and now to the prophet on Mount Sinai. The Ten Commandments, a cornerstone of the Judeo-Christian tradition, were said to be revealed to Moses at this juncture. Engraved by the finger of God on two tablets of stone, these laws formed the basis of morality, justice, and faith for the Israelites. The commandments were not merely guidelines, they were the divine blueprint for societal structure and personal conduct. His role did not end with the revelation of these laws, in fact this was just the beginning. Moses faced the gargantuan task of leading the Israelites through 40 long years of wandering in the desert. It was a time of testing and trial, of forging a nation out of a group of former slaves. Moses, with his unwavering faith and wisdom, guided them through this challenging period. He navigated them through harsh terrains and bitter waters, quelled their rebellions, and interceded for them when their faith wavered. His leadership was not just about guiding them physically through the desert, it was about guiding their hearts and minds towards a new identity, a new destiny. Moses was a lawgiver, yes, but he was also a shepherd, a judge, a prophet, and a leader. His life was a testament to the power of faith, resilience, and leadership. Moses' life beyond the scriptures was a tale of survival, discovery, liberation, and law. His legacy endures, shaping the course of history and the lives of millions. His story is not just one of biblical proportions, but one that transcends time and continues to inspire, to guide and to shape our world.